Overblood! My name is Brent Townsend and this is your weekly Monday show, the Overblood community video thingy. I am here to give you your topic of the week, which is going to be really short this week because I have no opinion on it. Um, so Thursday, uh, the GI guys posted a new GI show and they talked a lot about the N64, um, which apparently is a really good system. And I've noticed a lot of you have been putting out lists of your top five games like they uh, were talking about. So um, our topic of the week is going to be what is your favorite memory, uh, your favorite thing, your favorite games regarding uh, the N64. Give us all your stories. Give us all your crap. We'll take it. We love crap. If you like crap, watch the video. Whoa. Okay. So that's our topic of the week. And the reason why I have no answer is because... I've never played an N64 game system ever, so um, yeah, PlayStation is love, PlayStation is life, deal with it, um, sorry. Never played a Nintendo 64 game. Over buddies, it's after this comment where I realized that I'm Gordon Bombay, and Brent and other members of the Overblood community are the Mighty Ducks. You guys are all just a ragtag team of kids who are lost in the world and you need me to get you flying straight again. Brent's never played a Nintendo 64 game. How many others have never experienced one of the many gifts that Nintendo 64 offered? So many Mario parties that you missed. I, I just don't know that this can be fixed. Ducks fly together. It's up to you, over buddies, to help Brent out. He's Charlie Conway. Who's going to be his Greg Goldberg? Now into less depressing news. Mr. Toned asked you guys the question of the week last week, which was, what game have you sunk the most time into? This ended up being a, a pretty fun discussion. I, a lot of fun. Really cool. Thanks for commenting. Appreciate it. Now remember, if you want to join the conversation, all you have to do is be in the Overblood Facebook group on Monday nights when the video is posted. If you're somehow watching this and you're not a member of the group, what the crazy. The odds of that happening, very low. But if by some crazy chance this happened, links down below. Come join the group. Come meet some awesome people. Have some fun with us. Now, on to just a few of the responses we got last week. First off, we've got Steve Luzader. Luz Lizader, Liz, Steve Liz, Lizader. <laughs> it's not a real name, buddy. Sorry, that's a fake name and you know it. Anyway, Steve said he spent more time on the Facebook game Marvel Avengers Alliance than anything else. He said he's been playing it for about three years now and has easily dumped two to three hours a night into it. Wow. <laughs> I apparently need to check out what I can only assume is the greatest hidden gem of all time. Two to three hours a night for three years? Do you know how long that is? I do because I did the math. It's a long ass time. Next up we've got James Stavrinos. James Stavrinos. James. What? What the hell is going on? You know we went, we went months. We went months with just normal people, normal names, and then today just roll the truck out, Brent, back it up. Oh, you got a weird name? Great. You got a weird name? Great. Can't wait to try and read them in front of millions of people and be embarrassed. You, you like, you think I like having people on the internet think I can't read? You think I like that? James Stavrinos? I don't, I don't enjoy it. Anyways, he said he has a tendency to start and stop dozens of games a week. According to Steam, his top three games, though, other than his humble brag, oh, I, stop, I start and stop a lot of games. But, you know, here's, some, here's what Steam tells me. Terraria, 296 hours. Counter-Strike Go, 258 hours. And Rust with 160 hours. Good God almighty, that's a lot of time. That's like 800 years. You spent 800 years of your life. You're an immortal. I know that's why you got a weird name, because you're an immortal. It's an old-timey name from the Middle Ages. That's why you got that name. I'm on to you, James Stravnos. I got you. I caught you. Boom. Also, I admire your dedication, so deal with that. 
And finally, we've got some handsome guy here named Christopher Williams, and he said Minecraft. Uh, he went on to mention how he started playing it when it was an early alpha and just never stopped. He said that he wouldn't be shocked at all if, if he put in 500 to 1,000 hours into that game. Wow. Take that, Steve Lazatter. Take that, James Stravinoff, you, you immortal son of a bitch. <laughs> This Christopher Williams guy's got you beat. Hashtag deal with it. Also, he sounds awesome. Maybe you should be his friend. I hear he's a single, ladies. Once again, thank you all for commenting. I always enjoy the crazy conversations we find ourselves in. Now, onto the community spotlight. Sean Michael Sims made an overblood game. An overblood game! Oh, that's so cool! Links down below to go check it out. And of course, while you're on the page's site, don't forget to show uh, the Heartbreak Kid some love by giving his game five stars. He made an overblood game, guys. How? It's awesome. It's so, it's so crazy. Coolest guy in the room, all right? Now, of course, if you or someone you know in the community is doing something equally as cool as Shawn Michael Sims, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to spotlight it next week. And now onto the thing that keeps the lights on, Game Informer. This week, not much going on on the YouTube side, but... The crew at GI still put on some beefy content. Some beefy. Like, we're talking about, we went to Wendy's and we went, I want a number 12. And then they gave me a hamburger with 12 patties on it. That much beef. That much content. Like that. I, I mean, I assume that's what happens when you go to Wendy's. I don't know. I never ate there. Square patties. Freaked me out. But we got a replay of Doom 3, which was very fun. I don't want to spoil it, but goats. Just goats. Just think about that when you go into the video goats we also got a three hour stream of the witcher 3 was which was hosted by the realest guys in the room how you doing brian shea and dan tack joe juba was also there for some reason still haven't gotten a chance to play the witcher 3 but it looks so good sad face very big sad face uh, and lastly, we had the Game Informer podcast, which inspired this week's topic of the week. This week, uh, Ben Hansen and Tim Turry, along with Ben Reeves and Brian Shea, all discussed the Nintendo 64. If you're uh, not some lost soul like Brent to wind, uh, then you're aware of how great of a system it was. And you should have fun listening to the Game Informer crew reminisce about the amazing system that was the Nintendo 64. Over buddies, this has been the Overblood Community Video Thingy. Links to everything I've mentioned down below. And of course, don't forget that if you're watching this, it means you're awesome. Later guys.